All right. Hello, hello, Virgos. Virgos, this is your third bonus birthday message. Happy, happy birthday, Virgos. Just getting a little cedar going for you. Make a wish for your birthday and let's blow this out. All right. So uh, I will link in the description uh, the choices where I unveiled these different uh, mini books. Okay. This is the third and the final birthday message. Thank you all so very much. And as always, just take what resonates for you, right? Um, <clears throat> that's why I do options as well to choose. The first one was a little intense. Second one, very, very tame. I'm all very tame. <laughs> and then we're going to jump into wild mystic oracle card set in this particular video. And you're welcome to watch all of them as well. Um, I hope you all have a wonderful, happy birthday. The beauty of the seasons as well, this is your season to shine and everyone feels your energy because we're in Virgo mode, Virgo season, everyone getting their like their, their glasses on, <laughs> let's look at the nitty gritty of details and stuff like that. Um, I don't know if I'm going to go into some of the other stuff, I don't know, I guess I will. So uh, the first one was the what lies beneath or spill the beans and I kept bringing up... Um, I kept thinking of, so there was Capricorn and Cancer sign as well. So, and maybe if I'm bringing that up, then um, you have it in your chart or you're dealing with these particular uh, zodiac signs uh, in your energy, your people. So what lies beneath, there's the show, right, by, uh, well, I don't know who it's by, but uh, it's the thriller, a thriller show. And it has, I thought it was, Kevin something, but it is actually Harrison Ford and Michelle Pfeiffer in that. So I'm pulling Capricorn with that. Even one eight was spotlighted. And what do you want? You know. <laughs> so um, that was if you were drawn into the beginning. Um, there was some stuff that went down. And that's only if you're going through those types of things. Um, man, I don't even want to get into the creepy stuff. So if like in the very beginning of your birthday message, if you haven't watched that one before I came up to start it, there was getting uh, the witch, you know, like in uh, the Wizard of Oz, but it's in when it's in the black and white and she's riding her little bike and get you and your little dog too. And interesting enough, I was getting like someone has maybe a Dotson or a, a wiener dog or something like that or uh, a pet potentially. They also talked about um, in the books that are right here a black cat um so I was getting so I went back and I looked just at a scene and uh this entity or whatever in that movie the initials are m-e-f so interesting enough I was getting a lot of m um as well as I know this is weird but Joe and the dog of wisdom and uh happiness happens uh Monica <laughs> there's Monica there's M names, okay? So take it how it resonates, guys. I'm getting M names, J's, and the K's. M, J, K. I don't know. Uh, I'm all, I don't know. Um, I was also getting, I, I kind of went and was watching some other videos about the sacred geometry stuff, and the ley lines. So um, there was definitely also Gemini energy, Aries energy, Libra energy potentially coming through. Oh, and a lot of Taurus. Well, and a lot of Taurus. So, wow, lots of different energies in this particular one. Um, the three books were, I was complaining about it because, you know, I don't know. I don't really like this one. But uh, Reminders of Him, Colleen Hoover. It's basically just because every freaking time I open up one of these minis, there's a Colleen Hoover bar book. Okay, I got two of them. Um, and, and I'm pretty sure I've already got another one. So, Colleen Hoover. So, mm, <laughs> The Hoover remover. I don't know what. So to me, it brings up into my brain some weird domestic violence. And I don't know this book or like narcissistic hoovering. So I don't know with certain people. Okay. Um, and then you had Pride and Prejudice and the zombies. So I'm really getting a lot of Halloween-y stuff too, right? And some some Scorpio. Um, the other names that were coming through very much were Sean. Two different Sean spelled different ways. Um, and it was, um, I don't know if this is Aries, Scorpio, something like that. I mean, maybe, maybe it's for you. Like maybe it's your name. Maybe it's a Virgo. I don't know. Um, I just tell you the names that are coming through. Um, and Randall. Okay. So 
I was watching, <laughs> someone shared a couple videos with me that I went down the rabbit hole a little bit uh, and I don't see it. It's just really fascinating understanding architecture and um, the ley lines and the sacred geometries and stuff like that, you know, um, and that's some of that ancient wisdom type stuff, I guess. I don't know. Let's see what else was coming through. <sighs> I, I mean, Karen and Kim um, and Cherry. So CH, even having the, or K Sherilyn, you know, because that was also with the Roses Oracle. Hmm, I'm trying to remember uh, what the else. Like, there was like this high guard. Oh, yeah, the show. Because you have the little sister in The Witch. The little sister in the Babysitter's Club and Anne M. Martin and Karen's Witch. So it was really, that's why it was interesting. So I also got like Shia LaBeouf. <laughs> or is that, I, I think I said that wrong. Shia, Shia LaBeouf. And uh, the show uh, Disturbia, um, where he's on like, um, so I'm getting shows for you guys, which is interesting. But he's on um, uh, House Arrest for three months or something, and he's watching his neighbors, you know, he sees some hot chick in a swim pool, and blah, 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 and then, then he starts suspecting a neighbor as being, like, a serial killer murder person, right? Um, and then, um, when Shia LaBeouf, I say it, maybe I'm saying it wrong the whole time, I apologize, uh, if, you know, I'm not pronouncing things absolutely correct, it's not to be any, uh, derogatory or anything like this okay so um he's it's when he did like that motivational speech thing and it was all just do it just do it and the weirdest thing is like the gemini's energy for august was getting a lot of just do it okay um like nike even or the goddess nike um anyways these are your two books that I'm really focused on. Uh, so, you know, this is Halloween-y time. The Pride and Prejudice and Zombies. I've never heard that one or read that one. Um, it is a truth. What else was the names? I'm like, <laughs> I'm all, what is, uh, Ryan. And they can be first, middle, initial, uh, first or middle or last names too. Um, what else? Carl, Carlson, Carlton. Huh, weird. I wasn't anticipating that. Okay, um, I mean, and web. The web? On the web? Okay. Um, who does this Pride and Prejudice one? Jane. And Keith. Seth. Graham Smith. Okay. Weird. I don't know. We're just going to see where this goes because it is the mystic thing. So let's have fun with it as well. Happy, happy birthdays. 524 on the clock. 525. Yes. Okay. Uh, so Virgo birthdays. There we go. Um, 526. It is the 27th, I believe, today. I had something very odd happen with your second video. This has only happened like one other time, and I think it was with the Pisces one potentially, but um, I, where I went to upload it and there was, I was having issues getting it to upload. And then when it finally did, it just like re, it just reset my title to the day. And so that happened today with your second video. At this point, I have been able to uh, fix it and put the correct title in, but um, <clears throat> so some weird glitches or something. Hmm. Okay. Is it Randall? Oh, I'm trying to think. What is the last name? It's Carlson. Randall Carlson. So maybe you guys watch some of these these people or learn about it. You know, even like Joe and Joe Rogan and stuff like that or whatever. And the Seth, I think it's Seth Ryan. No, why am I saying Seth? Sean. Okay. <clears throat> I don't know where Seth is coming from. That one's new, guys. So hello, Seth. Or I don't know who Seth is. But then, like I said, all the M's, uh, the, all those M names, Michelle, uh, maybe Melissa, I don't, I don't know, Monica, um, Mel, hmm, Mike, Mikkel, oh, I was getting a couple S names, Stephanie, 
I get Nicole and Nicola too. Um, Diana and Summer or Summer. And like I said, first name, middle name, last name, whatever. Uh, could be some sometimes they can even be street names and stuff like that. And Madison too, and Madeline. Okay. Anastasia. <clears throat> so this is by Anastasia, illustrated and written by Anastasia. Catris, let's jump into the cards for your birthday, the Wild Mystic. I feel like with this one, I might get. I was definitely getting alchemy, um, and understanding. Really looking at like the okay, the neatest one. It was like seeing how there's like what is it called? Uh, <laughs> it's like the the storm, a thunderstorm type of machine but it is about how it actually can take carbon monoxide and carbon dioxide and actually turn it into oxygen not filtering it but that 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 chemistry so there's chemistry with this ah uh, yeah and chemicals okay this is so weird um i'm gonna set that there for a second why i do this 1108 1107 so there's scorpio coming through with this too a lot let's see the chemistry. Oh yeah, and Bush and the chemicals between us. I'm giving you songs now. Those there's some songs. Um, we also have some Dio. Dio. Uh, oh, is that Ronnie James Dio? Yeah, yeah. And uh Holy Diva. Holy Diva. Okay. You know Dio means God, right? In in Italian. Oh, well now you do. There's lots of names for God. Yeah. Anyways, um, fascinating stuff. Uh, fascinating stuff. Okay, so Holy Diver. I always think of like Rainbow in the Dark too. Um, <clears throat> and then there's definitely Virgo energy. So yeah, that's you guys. But other Virgos and Cancerian, okay? Um, Megadeth. Megadeth and uh, Train of Consequences. So is that Dave Mustaine? I'm pretty sure he's a Virgo, but it makes me think of Cancer Sign, maybe Libra too. Um, what else? Clicking on the mile. I'm trying to remember the different songs. Yeah, My Chemical Romance. I'm I'm not, I don't listen to this one very often, but there was the mama song. And this is talking about we're all going to hell, mama. <laughs> I was like, oh. Oh, that's what the Christians say. Anyways, just know that. Just know that. Oh, so I I had a conversation about some of this stuff. Like there's something on jo Jordan Peterson having a, um and stuff like that. And I watched a little of it. I don't want to watch all of it, but I already did my studies. And um, I'm not bringing up those books. Can't remember the other dude, but bring up Marxist Marxism and Marxist stuff. Um, so maybe Marx. I don't know a name too, <laughs> um, and this and when you really actually listen to a little bit of it, it is a religion, uh, and uh, that it is about uh, everything we say about like manifesting a reality. But then they've twisted it. So this is what we understand: human intentions will twist. They will take anything they need. They will take the Bible. They will take any spiritual text. They will take philosophy. They will take science. They will take other authors and twist it to find, you can always do that, to find some justification for evil hearts. So this is looking beyond things into the heart of the matter as well and the characters in play because it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter you call yourself a religious good Christian person. It doesn't matter even uh, a scientist and stuff like that. I'm just... Because I've seen, like I said, so much about Anne. Yeah, and Queen Anne. Um, <laughs> I don't, oh, wow. Everyone. Okay. Um, and then that song, Disturbia, or that show, makes me immediately think of Rihanna, Rihanna's and Disturbia. I think she does that with Eminem. I don't know. Maybe that's just hers. Eminem and Rihanna. I don't know why they're coming up, Virgos, for you. <clears throat> Let me think of the other songs. Oh, yeah, some Black Eyed Peas and Hey Mama. <laughs> I'm telling you, there's mama energy. That was really kind of the mother energy was spotlighted. Your mother, their mama, whatever. Maybe it's a pet name. I don't freaking know. 
Um, the Black Eyed Peas. Okay, what was the other one? I'm like waiting for it to come back around. Maybe that's the whole thing. Someone's waiting for something to come back around. Now that I have ranted for 15 minutes and 15 seconds on your video, um, hopefully there was information there that was important, needed for you guys. The chemicals, right? I heard the alchemy, chemistry, um, like astrophysicism and mechanics even and stuff like this, like all these little tiny details. And then, then I go back to the true crime shit and I'm like, oh, psychos. That's what's evil. You know what I mean? The, the, we see it, we watch, that's why people watch true crime and talk about it and shit like that. They talk about, uh, and there is, why well, it can even be mental disorders, uh, or something like that. You know, um, other people can create a mental disorder in you when they are like manipulating. And that's the difference. Manifestation versus manipulation. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't know why this is so weird. Okay. I just think it's so amazing. Like, I'm like, those two totally go together. I have no clue about these. Maybe you guys have already worked with these. I don't know. Or any of these. I'm just, they're new for me and it's fun and exciting. I think that's how we keep life, life exciting. Wow. There's the beautiful book, The Wild Mystic. Tap into the ancient wisdom of the animal kingdom by embracing your unlimited intuition. Look at that beautiful sill mandala or whatever very pretty very gold foil i love how it says animal kingdom okay uh and like i said i was getting like the dog of wisdom um you also had the horses right in the first one and maybe there's a cat even hmm okay <laughs> i always bring the cats in i was thinking you know getting offended being called a cat lady or something i mean who is Catwoman? <laughs> like I'm get like Batman and Catwoman. Maybe someone dressed those up as that as Halloween. I don't know why these are coming through, but um, it's really interesting. Okay, <clears throat> wow, this this is book is so pretty, Anastasia. Very pretty. Oh wow, the Peter Popper Press, Margaret. That's right. Remember? Okay, I'm, if you guys haven't watched your August video, some of this stuff could come through right for September for your birthdays because some of your birthdays are in September but um especially you know I don't know if it's you could cross watch certain ones or there's an interlinking I mean your opposites are always sometimes attracted to those opposite zodiac signs so the Pisces energy um I was definitely getting some weird <sighs> the Pisces energy <clears throat> um supernatural stuff I was getting like large marge from Pee Wee, like Pee Wee's Big Adventures. That's Paul Rubin, right? Um, Tom, Tom, Marge, Sencha, and Margaret Rubiano, Rubin, or Rubiano. All right, I like to share all these things. Finer books and gifts since 1928. The Peter Popper Press. Peter Piper picked a pick of pickled peppers. I said that in a different one. Okay, so Peter in there too. Uh, I, I brought up Pete. I don't know who these all these people are or whether they have any reference to you or not. 1928, at the age of 22, Peter Bielin, Bielinson began printing books on a small press in the basement of his parents' home in Larchmont, New York. Peter, and later his wife, Edna, and I was getting Mount Etna in Italy. Uh, Edna, Eddie, ha, Edna sought to create fine books that sold at prices even a pauper could afford. Today, still family owned and operated, Peter Popper Press continues to honor our founders, legacy and our customers' expectation of beauty, quality, and value. Very pretty. I like this. This is, looks like it's very beautiful. I open up the Ram, so we all know that's uh, Aries energy, right? The Ram power, 90 and 91. So you could be dealing with Aries. Wow, Alexandrite. This is a cool book. I'm so excited. I like this one. I like the green one, one too. The What Lies Beneath is just kind of some of those. I feel like that is like, that's like, what's the tea? You know, it's very worldly about 
what people are doing. It, it also can express things you're going through and challenges in life. And if the people in your life are, you know, doing you dirty. Okay. Alexandre. I was going to even Alex or Al Alexandra. Alexander the Great. Cinnabar. Royal. Plume. Jasper. And Cinnabar. Okay. I know that Cinnabar is toxic and poisonous. So maybe like working with the crystals and the stones and the minerals, right? Bergamot, the flora, oh, cedar. Okay, <laughs> sorry, I get I'm, I get too excited, guys. Bergamot is lovely, beautiful orange. Maybe even work with like essential oils, or uh, maybe even make them. Just do it. <laughs> myrrh, ah, oh, frankincense and myrrh, sunflower, sunflower, oh, the sunflower. The spell work is to gain confidence in the face of those who might undermine you. Amplify the power of other spell work. A blessing on physical competition or exertion. Embolic ritual. See, people can look at these things as very... You know what I mean? Spell. They're doing spell work on you. They're not... They're doing... If they're doing anything on, against you, then... then uh, you know, I don't know. I just, their, their heart is bad. I just don't get why anybody, because everyone talks about these things. And it is about, all right, in the face of those who might undermine you. So maybe at some point, this is about giving strength and confidence because people attack each other and try and control each other and uh, put each other down. And that's how they're trying to stop uh, people from moving forward right? And they just have bitterness and hatred. Maybe there's something you did to them, but that's, you know, or maybe not. I don't know. Cause I often think that something triggers it, that they, uh, have so much hatred or anger. The nines. Hmm. This card represents force and power. In ancient Rome, the ram was associated with the god Jupiter. Okay, very interesting. Uh, well, we, we all know at, at this stage too, Jupiter is also ruled uh, the ruling planet of Sagittarius. So it's all, all fire signs um, and wisdom and blessings. It expands anything. It's expansion. And the god Jupiter is the husband, right? Or even Zeus, the chief deity and god of the sky, thunder, oaths, and judgment, while in Celtic belief, a ram-headed serpent. Hmm, a ram-headed serpent. Very interesting. Cern, Cern, Cernunos, I might say that wrong. The Cern, oh my gosh, you guys, Cern. C-E-R-N, C-E-R-N, Cernanos himself, a horned god of nature and power. Horned and antlered creatures have long been associated with virility, aggression, potency, and strength. The sacrifice of rams, ewes, and lambs has long been documented in many ancient cultures as a way to gain the blessings of the gods. Hmm. <laughs> this card is symbolic of power, might, and vigor. If you're using, if you are using your reading to query about a person. This card may symbolize someone in a position of authority or respect. When dealing with the self, this card may symbolize your own inner power or strong passions. When reading this highly potent card alongside others, it imbues them with extra zeal and influence. The reading is magnified and empowered, taking the meaning to a more intense conclusion. This card may also represent those born under the Western Zodiac sign of Aries. Very interesting. So nine ones. Hmm. 91. And I get nine, 10 too. Nine, nine, 10. Okay. Virgos. Um, wow. So that was pretty cool. Just opening it up, getting a little, getting a little sneak peek in there. Huh? <coughs> this makes me <clears throat> see, I feel like, okay, here's the weird thing. I'm, I'm like, this is weird. I'm getting a lot of Capricorn energy. They may be also, you can have that in chart or going against you or something like this. Um, I'm, I'm getting so understanding with the Christian faith and the Bible and why they deem these types of things 
uh, and and I see lots of people who are who are intuitive psychic readers, and that will bring up Bible scriptures and and Jesus and all of these things, and it's lovely and wonderful. And uh, I I got nothing again. I I love I love Jesus. <laughs> it's some Christians that I could do. Uh, I just you know gotta walk away at some point. I, it's not worth fighting because they are literally also whether they recognize or not of being programmed indoctrinated and the, you know memorizing it reading it but then there's others that don't know shit about it and so oftentimes they're the nicer ones <laughs> and they just walk around like jesus loves me la 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 and i'm supposed to be full of love and kind jesus loves me but once you read that and you see mm. So, for example, and then they do, you know, we've all, there's all these different translations and da, 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 da. But basically this is about, so they're saying worshiping, right? <clears throat> we can look at that at the Bible and say the same thing from the beginning with Abraham and uh, how God told him to sacrifice Isaac. And wow, hasn't it been flipped around that those people, you know, there was justification because those evil people were sacrificing their children to Baal and to all and, and for riches and glory and power and it's like but and wasn't it a ram it's a lamb or a ram or a goat it, it's always one of those and then in Islam Muslim stuff they still do that and in the Jewish tradition that it's still a sacrifice it's a ritual sacrifice the thing is that it you know if so here's my thoughts the Native Americans when they you know are hunting or something as well there's this um honoring the life of that animal with respect and love um and you know and and then in consuming it for nourishment um so in in one aspect doing that or loving the earth or loving anything Loving your children more than God, mm. loving your spouse more than God, mm. you are committing the sin of idolatry. And uh, je uh, and your Lord, your God, is a jealous God. He considers that infidelity. So that's also the same thing as like the pagan worship. So I seriously, 114 Capricorn, really? Come on now. So I open up this book. As I have these different books, and it was called You Are Loved by Darlene something. Darlene, oh, you are loved, darling. That's what they say. <laughs> um, and maybe it's a grandpa or something, I don't know, or but Darlene even. Um, and it was 114, 115, and I was seeing that as well. And um, the scripture, and it was that scripture about that uh, God is a jealous God. And it, and it was titled, When Jealousy is Not a Sin. Oh, okay. See, we all talk about that. That's what all these, everyone's coveting what everyone else has. Uh, or yeah, That's jealousy. That's whatever. So, anyways, um, <clears throat> I open it up and I've never read it out of the Bible or any scriptures. I've read the way it was written down about saying that, that God is jealousy. God, God is jealousy. Okay. And he's a jealous God. And it, and that by you honoring or worshiping any other, it does say any other gods. So like, I don't know, Zeus, Jupiter, whatever. Um, Krishna, Buddha. I don't know if we consider him gods or whatever, you know, or just uh, mentors, guides, whatever you consider if you're doing any of that, and the world, the earthly stuff, the Wiccan, um, the nature, um, your own ancestry. And, and you know, they're all pagan. We're all pagans <laughs> in our roots, in our real roots. Um, anyways, I don't know about you, but I, I, I would never do anything like that. And I don't really fucking care. Uh, if any entity or thought or something came into my head telling me I needed to sacrifice something or these people were bad or something or, or, or for my God, I'd be like, uh, no, that's the sign that that's evil. I know that's evil. 
That's evil. Hmm. Anyways, anyways, rambling. I wasn't planning on that. Oh, there's so much Gemini energy. Okay, so, um, wow. I'm going to set the book off to here. Let's open this deck now. Because uh, I just was seeing that and it was bugging me. Okay, Aries. Uh, or, I mean, if you have the Aries in your chart or dealing with Aries, Libra, even. Um, like I said, the Cancer sign, Capricorn. Um, yeah. All right, Wild Mystic Oracle card deck. And there we got. This has, uh, this is, you know, the goddess energy, the moon, uh, Hecate. Hmm. So, considering even any of these being gods or goddesses, everything got so calm now. It's so peaceful. <sighs> now that I got that out of the way, <sighs> maybe there just needs an instinct. Look at that. Ooh. These are neat. I like these so far. This is the first card underneath there. They are pretty thick. They do have quite a little shine on them. Like I said, for your birthdays, there it's sometimes... Oh, it's an ant. Collaborate. Teamwork. An instinct to collaborate. Trusting your instincts. Ooh, these are interesting. They These are going to be a bit tough to shuffle, though. I wonder why there is... Uh, I'm like, why is there was like one in between there, a blank card? So maybe that means something too. Your instincts. I'm seeing the golden, right? Who wants the honey? Stillness. And the crane. No, the heron. 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 The animals. No way. Double instinct. One on the front. Maybe it's a bonus. Two times. Weird. Why is there a bonus? How weird is that? Twins. 3205. I feel like someone, someone you know might actually be having babies or had twins or you have twins in your dynamic or something like this. And whether you want to call it like twin flame things, I don't know. I just, I'm just saying twins. Twins. Uh, stillness. Virgo. In a pause. Um... And a trick, the badger. Maybe there's something about trick or treat. <gasps> okay, maybe you have like a, a, a copycat or a duplicate or something. I don't know. I'm just looking at these and trusting my instinct as I'm reading them. And we'll get into it. Hmm. Collaborating. Maybe they're collaborating together. Weird, everything got so quiet and I can't even tell you the energy, how it is so still. Be still and know I am God, 3309. Be still, stillness. Weird, my ears ringing. I, you guys, this one's crazy. I'm going to set this one instinct off to the side. Um, I don't even know, that's so crazy. These are these are thick though. This is gonna be weird. I'm gonna be incorporating these for all the different zodiac signs for the month of September. But you guys are the first ones. These ones are gonna be a little. This person, I, I'm like this person. So maybe this person has like, you know, this has like this coating over it. So they're a, they're a little thicker. There's gold on them, but they're, um, I don't know how to explain. What is it like if you? You put, you laminate it, laminate it, laminate it or something. Okay, here we go. I like this deck. This one's going to be fun. I like a little challenge sometimes and about trusting instincts. Okay, Virgos, Virgos, Virgos for your birthday season. Also, it's like Tuesday today uh, when I'm doing it. And I have this other deck called Bold Tuesday, an action card. So I might just grab that. Um, and like I was saying, if you didn't listen to your uh, August monthly messages, yours ones um, were a little quite different from a lot of the other zodiac signs. Um, so maybe listen to also your rising sign, moon sign. There, there could be something more for you there uh, or even cross-watching, okay? But as always, 
don't take it if it's not yours. Don't let it create any fear. Just, uh, this is about maybe giving confirmation or, you know, uplifting through any type of life's challenges because we all go through certain things and learn along the way and teach each other. Once we've been there, we can put that information out to help teach each other how not to fall, you know, uh, get in a bad situation or how to get out of a bad situation. Um, right? All right, here we go. Here's your first one. It went by the instinct and the crab. No way. <gasps> the weirdest thing. Okay, so that's the cancer side. They're coming through always. Like almost every single one of your videos has had this water energy coming through. Maybe you just enjoy. I'm, a, I'm just going to talk about food. Um, dude, I totally got the crab. And like, okay, this is so weird. I didn't bring this one up, but now I will because the crab is there. It is in reverse, so I'm going to see if there's a different meaning. This is about care, nurturing, care, carry, caring. This is mothering, nurturing, the moon, the moon again. Okay, let's see. I'm going to bring the camera down. We're not going to look at that one. I'm going to set the wild mystic right here next to it. So you have something pretty to look at. <laughs> um... Okay, so here we go. I got like uh, cooking crab, right? Uh, but I got, I get movies. I'm getting movies for you, little snippets of it. But uh, so Walt Disney um, and The Little Mermaid, but it's Sebastian. I was like, Sebastian. Sebastian's the crab and there's like the scene where the chef is like oh, oh, oh. <laughs> it's like French or whatever. I don't know. It's all about croissants. <laughs> So you might have some French, French food, or there's French, I don't always say a French dip, but there's French ancestry or something even. And Sebastian the crab is always trying to warn Ariel, right? Hmm. Weird. So Sebastian is, is a cancer sign, maybe. I don't know. I feel like I gave you guys other music that had like, Sebastian Bach, that's like, uh, we've got that young kid in the news, it's missing Sebastian. Um, hmm. And he has special needs. Um, but Sebastian Bach and Skid Row. Uh, I'm getting, I remember you. Okay. And I'm getting, um, Youth Gone Wild. And, uh, 18 in life and I am interlinking some Sagittarius energy with this okay so I'm pulling in some Sag you can have that in your chart or something like this Virgo Cancer maybe Libra too I'm gonna read that and believe you better believe it it's real the webs if someone's name could be webs even or you're seeing webs this is so, it's like the jackrabbit. You're going to believe in the jackrabbit here. That is so interesting. I'm going to set that there for a second. Believe. Care and believe. Hmm. They care. Take care. Believe. Hmm. Oh my goodness. There's something more. Charlotte or Char, right? Like Charlotte's Web. Believe it. Yeah, and the and the the spiders. So I've been seeing some spiders lately too. Nothing. Ah, the one that was big and scary, I found it all dead, though, so it's all good. Um, but, you know, Charlotte's Web, Wilbur, and, and the farm, and the fair, the pig. That's some pig. <laughs> Terrific. So someone's name was even Charlotte, too, or something like this, okay? I just keep giving you the names huh 
Okay. That's so weird. So interesting. And play. There's monkeys. And the circles. And the stars. Believe and play. You know, I was noticing, uh, so on the Green Witch one, which was your second one that has like all of the the elemental, uh, the, the triangles that are like the alchemical symbols, I don't know, elements, elemental symbols. The way that the, the deck was looking, it reminded me of what we see on like playing movies and rewinding and fast forwarding. You know what I mean? It looked like arrow, like those type of arrows because it was the way it was turned. Hmm. All right. All right. Let's see. Let's see. I'm going to get just a few more and then I'm going to read out the book. I can't believe that I've spent so much time chatting. So there was definitely the Aries coming through. Remember that um, in the beginning. And then we've got the cancer sign or you, you could have this in your chart, right? I know we've got the cancer sign and taking care of yourself also represents like the mothering and the nurturing regardless of, you know, your gender and stuff like that okay the crabs oh, oh, oh. <laughs> and the croissants there's libra with it too aries libra okay and then there's the cancer capricorn okay power damn this is the this is once again looks like a ram this is a ram but this one is that what i open it up to um yeah you have the power. If you care and you believe, you will have the power. See, in the last one you were getting, I feel like it was totally about having the power. Wait, this was for the Cancer Signs reading. The Cancer Signs, I got five readings for their August monthly. Um, so like I was saying, maybe there's something in there for you. The time travel oracle was amazingly beautiful and you guys didn't get, no, there was the time travel oracle. I didn't give you guys like, what's the tea and stuff like that. <laughs> uh, so much. <clears throat> okay. And then you have the bee. What's up, Aries and Geminis, dude. Work, work, work taking action that's so crazy the honeybee so <laughs> literally this thing <laughs> why, why are you coming through for the virgo's bird thing what's this about huh uh -huh, uh huh the honeybees so then i got the alchemical symbol here too and then we got the moon so some of you could have a moon aries um moon cancer sign and i'm seeing double aries in your chart dealing with aries um <clears throat> and libra we got one two three this is busy b too um <laughs> the aries sent me some pictures of bees today and that's why too um gemini with this too okay work it's work doing the work power okay <clears throat> care I'm going to open it up to care. Oh, I like this one. It does have, you know, the table of contents in here. I really like this. I like this one a lot so far. I, I mean, I like the green witch, but I have to say this one, my favorite for your birthday. Okay. I love the golden color and the black on it. Octopus is standing out in Narwhal. Oh man. Oh man. So you know how much I love I love the animals, guys. I love the animals. All of the animal, spirit animals. I have so many of these. And I don't think I rec I realized that this was what it was. Um, but I, I, I'm excited to see what this book has to say. Mystic. Man. Okay. Let's go to the crab. Is... Page 42. So 42. Someone could be turning 42 or uh, Aries energy there too. 42. I did see 902. I almost said 90210. What is this? That's like Beverly Hills. Okay, look, I open it to the bees. Okay, that the bees knee is 30 and 31. Someone once again could be turning 30 or 31. I see 22 again. I, I did see 22. So you, man. 
There's something so weird about the 22. I don't want to talk about any of the weird toxic stuff of psychopaths in this. I'm like, I just don't want to. Mm -mm. Just be aware of your surroundings and who you're going to have relationship with. And recognize this, the signs. Do not ever let any other human being hurt you. Or animal, I don't know, whatever. I'm just saying that if they if they ever fucking touch you inappropriately in a sexual manner or physically and hit you, that ain't love. Get the fuck out. So many times people get in these toxic, obsessive, controlling, weird. That is the, because there is a weird emotional manipulation, coercion. Um, and then there becomes a weird, that's why I'm even, so Stockholm Syndrome type stuff. I don't know why I'm telling you this, but you need to know this is a shadow work, shadow reading. So maybe if they come in reverse, it's in a shadow energy. So care came in reverse. So someone like is losing their app, you know, their care, or they're not taking care of themselves taking care of business okay i don't know why i had to tell you that guys 30 and 31 and it goes either way oftentimes it's usually i don't know if i say usually but uh, we see it more prominently probably in you know in domestic violence and weird stuff like this where the the masculine person is more uh, abusive but I've seen it the other way a psycho women okay so it's the character of the human being okay um, you can't there's no like you can want recognize the patterns of a behavior okay I don't know there might be some weird stuff with Aquarius, Sagittarius. I was getting a lot of Scorpio coming through too for you, so we'll see. And summer, hmm. Summer solstice and summer rites, 31. 31, so Pisces as well. So this, of course, beautiful enough, this is air and fire for the work. So even the communication, right, that, um, or the thoughts, the, the air, the wind, uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy, and then the work uh, is the fire. Aries, Leo, Sag. I'm not seeing so much Leo with this one. That doesn't matter though. Amber, this one's Amber. <clears throat> I heard a cow, something about the cows. Literally, I heard a moo. <laughs> Amaryllis, Amber, Cowslip, and Mace. Oh my gosh, Mace in the face. What is this? Spell work. A new job. Standing out from the crowd in a workplace. Focus on the task at hand. Money magic. Summer solstice and summer rites. In the shadow reading of this, the shadow reading of the B card is lethargy and Nunui and stupor. It is the sun overshadowed. It is the exhaustion felt when one has lost passion for a project or excitement for work. The shadow interpretation of the B card may tell you it's time to mix things up, change your perspective, or perhaps give up on the project altogether if it no longer brings you fulfillment. All right, the card represents hard work, focus and industry. While the ant, okay, we saw the ant as well, page 22, focuses on collaboration to achieve a goal. The B card focuses on the goal itself. It represents effort toward a pleasant outcome or a long overdue reward. This card tells us that the goal we seek is within our reach if we persist. The bee, like the hummingbird, page 66, is often associated with the sun. However, the bee's solar energy is focused on production, invention, and the job at hand. The ancient Egyptians are considered the first people to create artificial hives for producing honey. Okay, the honey. Okay, this is coming through. The other song is Smashing Pumpkins and Cherub Rock. Cherub, so the angel, a cherub. 
and the part where it says who wants the honey only if there's money but watch out for those angels with their wings glued on okay billy hmm. all right however okay Let's see what else. So the wild honey harvesting is also an ancient practice and the development of domesticated hive based farming is still being researched. They also believe that the sun god Ra created bees from tears as they hit the sand. Honey has often been likened to gold or imbued with the power of the sun due to its color and its seemingly miraculous production of these insects we may view the bee card as symbolizing the fruits of labor and rich successful outcome this card indicates financial and business success it is industry and it is industry at its most rewarding and the sun shining down on your back as you toil wow amaryllis is so pretty money is coming you know you this is you reap what you sow as well but also trusting and believe, right? I want to see why care. I feel like that may have come in reverse. Power may have is also. Um, take the power back. You know, maybe someone doesn't feel like they have the strength. They're feeling weakened and, if, and depleted. And if that's the need, then rest. Make sure you're getting enough rest and water, rejuvenation. Your food can make you lethargic. Depression, sadness, pills, chemicals, illness. Hmm. So also check your, so some people have sensitivities, right, to different foods. So maybe shellfish is not for you or you don't ever eat anything like that. Or walnuts. I ate a little bit of a walnut. I tasted some water and it seemed like it did something to the flavor of the water. But this walnut was, it was just a little bit. It was actually more of a raw, fresh walnut. And then, um, have you guys heard of strawberry lemonade blueberries? Yeah, they're real. Dude, I ate some of those today. Busy work. Mm. Okay, let's see. I'm going to go to care. So that was, okay, let's see. The cow is there too and providing crocodile. I like this deck. Wow, dolphin... I didn't, I like this one. Dolphin, it shows, it shows Libra. Balance. Hmm. Serpentine. Dahlias. Geraniums. Wow. Bring it on. Okay, this is so weird because I'm thinking of Nick because Nick was there too or something. Nick Cave and the Bad Seeds. And this is another song that has been spotlighted a little bit. And it's, you know, bring it on. Not leaving. So, but the dolphins to me always make me think of water. Clearly, it says a water element. I love how they, the yin yang with it even. Hmm. I also think of, like, I, so I think of Cancerian and Aries with dolphins. 48, 48 and 49. Emotional balance during difficult times. I've, I'm feeling like. Wow, it may represent those born under the Western Zodiac sign of Libra. There is a little Sagittarius with it, too. Um, and I know that I didn't flip that one out for you, but as I'm flipping through, this is all new, so it's exciting. And I think that's fun. It's like you share your enthusiasm for something, you know? And that's why I'm doing this for you guys, Virgos. And for me, I can't lie. I'm enjoying it, too. <laughs> It's a win-win situation here, okay? Um, I That got me distracted. Like, I was like, oh, what? I didn't even know that. I love that. Huh. The water. All right. Um, so, okay. So, uh, in my older videos, this is way back in my channel. Um, I had some beautiful flowers and I was, it was, um, my own, you know, when I was having this urge to do something cause I was in and, and coloring was supposed to be, so I was coloring flowers and open up the flower book. And, um, 
I haven't done that for quite a while. I, I started doing something else and that one got put on the back burner, but uh, coloring the dahlias and the amaryllis. Uh, but then I also take pictures of these things too. So the yucky stuff in the world, so under, like transmuting it, not just filtering it, but actually transforming it into something beautiful or switching the focus as well. Um, so sometimes it's really weird. Like I might listen to really angry music while I'm out like taking pictures and shit. <laughs> Seems odd, right? You think I'd be like, la, 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 listen to meditation stuff or, but I need some of the beats gets my, uh, helps me get moving, walking around. Um, I would call it angry music, maybe just Mars music. Right? And the same thing, like, when someone's pissing me off, like, some of your shit, I'm all, some of your shit, Virgos. <laughs> well, in the first video, I was like, oh my gosh, man. <sighs> it's frustrating. So, there were times in my life where when you're really upset or you're just feeling that Mars energy, you know, instead of, like... You use it to better yourself. So go out and walk and bust a move, you know, or, uh, and I did, like, I went walking a little bit further and up a hill. So it was really, uh, so you know what I mean? Like, and in that sense, I'm, I'm getting stronger. My physical body is getting stronger and I'm not hurting anyone or my, you know, and I'm not, uh, you know, and I'm taking control over that energy and helping it to make me uh, a stronger person. Uh, the same thing. And then, I don't know. That's kind of weird. I don't know why I'm sharing that with you. But okay. Let's go to the crab and deer. I feel so chatty. It's so... Hmm. There's definitely... You could have Gemini in here. Maybe it's the Mercury. <laughs> 42! Yeah, so 42 and 43. Okay. Um, how interesting. 66 is being represented again or spotlighted. So one and six, nine, uh, clearly. So uh, Gemini and Aries coming through as well in this energy of caring. So the shadow energy of this crab here. Okay, we're already 57 minutes in. See, I go, I go so long. Um, says a shadow reading of the crab card could be a warning that the waters have reached far over your head. And it is difficult to see the surface. Emotions, feelings, invasive thoughts, and destruction, destructive anxiety have overwhelmed you. And it is time to swim ashore. The crab, take care. Hmm. Flora, Jasmine, St. John's wort, Mother wort, and Benzoin. This could have something to do with your own mother. Okay, it doesn't have to be that, uh, but the mothering, because um, that was coming through, or or your mother is helping you coming through for it, that energy. Because uh, those two different ones, and mama, they might be Taurus, they could be Aries, uh, 66, they could be 66, 42, 43, whatever, this could be you. This card represents self-care and navigating the sea of strong emotions. If the hummingbird card represents the sun within this deck, then the crab represents the moon. In Western astrology, the crab is affiliated with the star sign Cancers, whose ruling heavenly body is the moon. In Rudyard, Rudyard, Kipling's Just So Stories, a giant crab makes the sea rise and fall, just like the moon's power over the tides. The moon is often associated with strong emotion. The soul energy and feelings. The crab card symbolizes the ebb and flow of strong emotions and taking control of the tides of feeling, whether they are calm seas or destructive tsunamis. Crustaceans live in a casing of thick armor, which guards them against predators and the potential violence of the water around them. This card is a symbol of empathy, therapy, and self-care. It urges you to reorganize the destructive forces of negative emotions and take steps to guard yourself against them. Maybe that's why I brought that up. Okay, okay. All right, very good. Because it was, I mean, yeah. Um, so angry. Oh, I don't know. I, I mean, Marilyn Manson has a new song called, There was like, There's Like No Surrender. 
there's no like no apology is okay or something <laughs> uh raise the red flag uh, that's like one of the new the song and that's the the emotions of it um not surrendering this is hmm moonstone here rhodonite guard garnet and labradite all right so this is this is a psychic protection heart healing and intuition and emotions spell work self-care calming strong emotion healing work for mental illness or lunar magic okay healing hmm. so maybe there's something about that uh the other stuff I, no way and i want to see underneath the deck well underneath there is another one underneath here grow and the lizard the, the energy of the hummingbird oh, is this a seven one two three four five six yes the seven-sided star there is oh there's fear underneath there in the shark this is shifting the energy. The hummingbird. Wow. Uh, this is fairies coming through as well. Hmm. And the sun. So the moon and the sun here. There's fear underneath there. That's shadow energy. It's in reverse. And then grow and the lizard. So even re regenerating. The salamander. Regenerating. Letting certain things go. You know what I mean? Like the salamander here, it, it can regrow its tail. It can also let go of its tail in a danger to for protection. So this is letting certain things go, right? That uh, are dangerous for your, um, your well-being. And regenerating. Huh. Weird. This is a cool deck and I'm super excited to work with it again. I don't know how many September messages I'll do <laughs> because sometimes I, I definitely can't do as much as um, I did for August monthlies. I, I mean, some are getting four and five videos that are an hour to an hour and a half. Um, I, I just wanted to go deep with it and also understand that there's lots of different uh, human beings out there at different levels, different stages dealing with different stuff right um and that's why there's multiple videos to listen to and get clarification or guidance you know to help and and if you're not dealing with certain things and you know thank god okay or if you've already been there done that then you know give the the advice to help others along their journey like uplift and heal, right? Hmm. Okay, the power. We're gonna go to power now. Energy, okay. Uh, hummingbird, see, because hummingbird kept being spotlighted, right? And I just turned it in 66 and 67. Air and fire is the elements. Um, it was upright though. Right, so this also warns but again, it's doing something too fast. So there is no rush. I was getting patience. So taking your time, not being in a hurry. Whoa, yeah, and so it, it's bringing up the crab again. 42 and 66 and 67. Nine, six, the salmon card, returning home. Trusting your intuition and returning home. Ah, the salmon card would be a marathon. The hummingbird card is a sprint. Hmm. Excitement for a task does not always mean that it should be a priority. Bella, Donna, mint, oregano, fuchsia, air and fire, six, seven. Okay. The jackalope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, it was a jackalope in Believe. Uh, so that was their Hawthorne. Working with Hawthorne is about heart healing. I'm telling that I'm getting a lot of the fairies. Because Hawthorne, I also see like the same thing with that. What? What's the hummingbird? It was had that emblem. And the seven-pointed star. 
huh, and tool, <laughs> the band, right? Energy, everything is energy. <laughs> of course it is taxidermy, what the heck? Oh, these were the bad taxidermies. The creatures existed through hybrid taxidermy art, the stories for centuries of the jackalope. A rabbit or a hare with thorns of a deer. Folklore. Hmm. Pineapple, amethyst, alexandrite, and merlinite. Oh, merlinite. Does it go by a different name? I don't know pineapple, amethyst. I know alexandrite changes colors from green to red. I was also getting that, like... The light changing. Green to red. The fairy magic! See the unseen. Fairy magic. Encouraging imagination and inspiration. Connecting with the other world and promoting visions. You have to be a believer. <laughs> this is fun. I like this one. I'm really excited for you guys. For your birthdays. Uh, if you're into this and you don't have it, I would highly suggest it because it's a lovely, uh, fascinating book. I don't want this to go too long because I am going to get, um, I feel like with the fairies, I have all the fairies over here, which is so interesting. This is my fairy uh, stage. I don't know. What else would I call it? Uh, this is my, my sacred fairy place. I used to move it around with me and you know move things and change it and then I was like no nah, I'm just giving them them their own sacred space where I use so I have mushrooms here I have unicorns here this is all of these are in this sacred space um the fairy oracles let's just pull a fairy oracle the wild wisdom of the fairies Lucy Cavendish I will get power I want to see why power was in reverse I think that that's the biggest thing so Virgos I understand, but, but I'm like, I understand. You've been through some shit. Y'all listen to Alice Cooper's song, Hey Stupid. All right. All right, let's see. Lucy Cavendish and the Fairy Oracle. Little Boy Blue. Oh my goodness. A baby boy. Dreams come true. Return of the soul. 26. A little boy blue, come blow your horn. The sheep's in the meadow and the cow's in the corn. Dude, you guys got corn too. The sheep's in the meadow and the cow's in the corn. What? What is this? Okay, see? Seven pointing star. This is the fairy star. All right, and we do have alchemy. I should get you guys a couple of alchemy. So this one's take forever. What are we on time? Yeah, I'm already 107 in. Okay, so maybe not too much more okay because <laughs> uh i am moving on after this one and getting um <sighs> getting the september messages out pride and prejudice and zombies <laughs> that was the book that came through with this one i was like okay this one interesting 50 and then the little sister and karen's witch thinking that so in the first video where i unveiled them i did read a little bit on those little tiny mini books okay uh so there could be clues along the way with that too okay um and maybe in that book i don't know i have no clue but maybe in that book she discovers that she was just maybe it was a green witch and she's not like some evil wicked witch who's doing any like weird dark magic stuff drinking baby's blood and la, 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 all of that weird um messed up shit that is just far and few in between okay i'm sorry this is just gross i don't i mean it's halloween i'm just seeing like i know it's maybe you always because you're you know september is you know all the fall stuff ramps up and you're like getting prepared for you know the fall and looking forward to something that's fun and so like i mean we have of course we have labor day which okay yay <laughs> but the next like real like holiday thing is halloween and you know some of those christians really hate that 
that's when they start doing, they start doing seances. That's what you don't get. And they say that they're calling out the demons because this is the witch's time, a witching hour and, and, and the devil's holiday and you're, oh, and scary things are. Um, and the poor, and, and some people do feel like that it's just, you know, the, the veil is thinner. Um, but ultimately it is the intent of the human being. And I've seen some of these so-called delivery ministries. They like go on like this high alert, weird attack. Okay. Um, during like the Halloween season, it's insane. And they, whether they recognize it or not, they're actually calling demonic spirits onto them. Um, yeah. Um, they think I'm calling him out and then then are you sending them into pigs like Jesus did or what okay or what that's why they believe it too and I, I'm in, I've seen some nutbags I've seen some crazy shit that man maybe it's just a bad human hmm Okay, I don't know what. I feel so. I don't know. I felt. Ooh, it, that was it. That was it. I broke hard. Catch me. Trust, surrender, leap of faith into the unknown. Someone wants to be caught. I also see fairy lovers. New love, courtship, romance, and falling in love. 46 and 13. This might have been someone. Okay, this is weird. You're 13. The 13 comes up a lot. It was coming up with the cancer sign a lot. And uh, 4, 6. So. So it could be turning 46. Maybe you knew each other when you were 13. Someone might, you know, from being a teenager. So there's romance and falling in love. Okay. <laughs> oh, let's see underneath here though. Unicorn. See, look, and now see, they all want to come through here. Now a unicorn wants to come in. What else I got? Scared to fly. Someone's scared. They're like young, 18 year old. The right moments, sensing of the right timing. 19, letting go, detachment, and moving on. So I'm like getting a storyline here for some of you. And, and for some of you, this person has long, long, long dark hair or black hair even. doesn't have to be. Um, I'm also seeing like wavy, kind of maybe uh, reddish or a hint of red in there. You know, auburn, I guess, like brown auburn. And there's some blondes there too. Okay. Um, how interesting. So I'm uh, getting this little bit of a story. Like, like being young, 13, like trusting, but being scared even, and then letting go because there's this codependency and a, a fear, right? And then there is a need for letting go and finding independence and overcoming fear in this world. 19. Okay. And now maybe some of you are 46 or 20. The littlest fairy. This is a younger sister. So the little sister is coming through. Maybe you have this little sister. You are the little sister and helping and taking care of or something, right? Helping them um, leave the nest. I don't know how to. Uh, maybe they're an Aries or a Capricorn. Uh, what else? I see something about 2019 and 2013. 2010. And then new love. So being 46. 10 20 10 10 no way communication with unicorns purification and undercover action hmm. midnight prince that's really interesting so who knows maybe for september i will bring these in again these are so pretty though trust scared to fly i want to see those shimmering Glamour, confidence. Someone doesn't feel very confident. 39. 9-3. 12, 19. Maybe Sagittarius to Capricorn. Okay. Fairy lovers, though. Um, What else do I got? Littlest fairy was there. Unicorns. Huh? Maybe you guys saw that. Like, I have the unicorns there, too. One fourteen on the clock again. Okay, so Capricorn definitely popping a bit for you. I'm going to leave that here. Fairy tales. Leaving away fairy fairy tales. The fairy tale romance. It turned toxic. I don't know. She's back in black. 
There's a lot of crows. Huh. Okay. I want to grab this, uh, the power again. I believe that's Aries. I think that's the one I opened it up to originally, right? It's the ram, so I have to go with the R's. There's hawk and horse. Oh, peafowl is there, the peacock. <laughs> 86, okay. Ram, power, yeah, that's the one I read. So the shadow, I'm gonna make sure I make sure I read that part. So I, it might have come in reverse. The shadow meaning of the ram card is linked to the responsibility and accountability of those in power. This card may symbolize power corrupted or subverted. It is a position of authority that is not answering to those over whom it has power. Mm. See, both of those being in reverse was really showing a domineering, uh, tyrannical, controlling, uh, over-emotional, you know what I mean? Heavy emotions. So that might be very specific and um, for some of you, okay? Wow, Cancer and Aries here. Huh. An air signs a little bit. Hmm. But upright, it was saying... I'm just, I need to pay attention. Like when I do this deck, I'm definitely going to pay attention to, um, I think I will get like an alchemy for you. See, it really depends because each one can be such an intense reading that it, <laughs> that it, especially with the oracles and the alchemy, um, that I have to do multiple videos because it's like once I hit around this time right here, 116, you know, maybe an hour and a half. Some of them I push all the way through for almost two hours, but I got to get up. I got to get a, a drink of water, walk around, get some snacks, do whatever. And I have some other shit to get done, too. So I think I am going to leave it at that, Virgos. This one's fascinating. Um, I'm really excited to jump into your monthly of september okay monthly of september and um yeah that's gonna be fun but most likely you will have more than one video for september um the guidebook i don't know fairy tales nine two okay i'm gonna get I, before i finish i am gonna cl close this up here so this one where i saw 19 someone being 19 potentially or being you know a younger Person nine two, okay, Virgo nine two and nine three. I'm also seeing eleven twelve, dealing with maybe a Scorpio or a Capricorn, Aries. I'm also seeing potentially of somebody like or being able to like maybe you have to travel long distance. Maybe you're gonna go to higher education learning. Moving on. Like this is like right after freaking like graduation or something and you're 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 separating, you're you're going out in the world to even if you don't go to college or something, it's just the next level of life and stuff. Some people don't even do anything and uh, you know go learn something, a skill, technical skills. Go go learn some skills to pay the bills, okay? Okay. That's what you need to do. <laughs> Go learn them skills to pay the bills. That's so funny. It's popping in. Um, but this is letting go. You know what I mean? Like maybe you have to leave a love energy or something because you're in going in different fucking directions. Or you're not, you know. But but actually this is such this is such a, a good thing to not fall into a codependent relationship on both parties. Um it's almost like then they come back around, you know. Once they've done some, their own growth and there's going to be other people, other relationships during that time, that's part of growth as well. You know, when you see it as relationships that have, that have helped each other grow and it's not just always like heartbreak and hurt and blah, 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 blah and distrust and it's not just a sexual thing. Even though usually there's stuff like that. Uh, but you see like maybe even the family dynamic. So where you're drawn, you know, to new. Hmm. You know what I mean? Like 
seeing how their family life is, their lifestyle, their growing up, um, how it differs from yours and what you consider good or bad. This is all about, is this what you want? Like, um, and usually a lot of times the grass is always greener on the other side, but no, nah, not always. It may look that way until you get over there and you find out it's fucking not even real grass. It's like turf. It's plastic fake shit. Ooh, I don't even know where this is coming from. <laughs> it's, but it's good. <laughs> it's good. Okay, I do see the Silver Sisters there, so be careful with that. 910s and 911, okay, Virgos. You may have, if you have a Sagittarius or a Gemini sister or something, or maybe another Virgo, they're not so kind. They may be talking shit. They may be very pretty. It's like the ugly stepsisters, except for they're very pretty on the outside, but they're very too fucking faced. Hmm. Refusing to believe that people can be cruel, not understanding or acknowledging the impact of harmful words. Six, six, again. Okay, so someone could even be that age, I don't know, and six, seven, I see six, four, six, five, and six, seven. Um, the unicorn maiden kept coming through too. Oh, I kept seeing 10, 13. That came through again, and 10, 17. So the Libra energies, okay, um, Communication with your unicorns. Your undercover action. Hmm. Working with unicorns. Written word. Unicorns can bring about the power of the written word. They communicate the tale that needs to be told. This holds true for artists too. As the original language the unicorn developed was pictorial. So they are behind many film projects, novels, television series, and visual arts and collages, most especially. Wow. If this card has appeared to you and you are embarking on a creative project, simply ask for the help and guidance of the unicorn who will fill you with inspiration and help you through any block you may have regarding writings. Third eyes and chakras. That's so beautiful. I love that one. Okay, here we go to the catch me. Trust, surrender, leap of faith into the unknown. That's even like totally that, you know, that's Aries energy. That's the fool card, right? Um, maybe a little Aquarian. I see Cancer sign there too. Catch me, 7-6 seven, and 7-7. Seven, seven. This fairy woman has no discernible wings yet. Yet without them, she still knows she will fly. She's trusting and moving forward. Although... All around her, all those around her are panicking and wanting to stay where it seems to be safe. She has faith and she that she will be supported. This card denotes the creation of the wise, surrendered self, often birthed through some kind of crisis. She is the newly created being, and her energy is innocent, unworldly, trusting, and therefore extremely powerful, potent, and magical. This being is completely trusting. She's fully focused on listening to and following her inner voice. She has no worldly protection. Her arms are outstretched and she shows no fear as she walks off the edge. Her self-belief in this remarkable situation is not pride for she is focused on going ahead. This is the greatest leap into the unknown, the leap of faith we so often speak of. She may seem to have nothing but faith, but in truth, her repository of instinctual knowledge is held within her magical, miraculous self. The storm clouds have gathered about her, but she is unafraid, or rather has gone past fear and into acceptance. She knows that what will be, will be. Ha, que sera, sera. Whatever will be, will be. Hmm. That is accepting things too. Time to take a chance that others may see as risky. But it is time for if not now, when? Right? I was getting even. Just do it. <laughs> Shia, Shia LaBeouf say, just do it. <laughs> I keep getting there's a corn song. It's like, I don't know, is it David or Brian? One of the, Jonathan. Maybe those are all different names, but um, there's a corn song that's like, just do it, damn it. <laughs> okay, I, I, it just starts out that way, so it always pops in my head. Hmm. I'm 
And also you can catch me if you can. Hmm. Frank Black. And Leonardo DiCaprio. That's such a great show, don't you think? Yeah, I really do think. Okay, Alanis Morissette. See, now all the weird music popping in and stuff like that. All right. Thank you, guys. I hope you have enjoyed. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful birthday. It's like you're jumping into the arms. Uh, catch me. That's so weird. Like, this is like a trust me thing. And the unicorns. Huh. Someone's scared to fly. Oh, maybe there's actually a, li a literal fear of flying on airplanes. Um, Because that song is an ironic. Don't you think? A little too ironic. It says, it's like rain on your wedding day. The free ride when you already paid. It's the good advice that you just didn't take. And who would have thought it figured? Mr. Play It Safe was afraid to fly. He packed his suitcase and so this is like one of those things that's saying him over, trying to overcome his fears and then his fears came to life. Hmm. It's like, isn't there like winning the lottery and then dying the next day? Hmm. See, it is what it is. That's the whole thing. It is what it is. Let's open that. Oh, provide Taurus. All these in shadow energy. There might be, this is like, get the scales to pay the bills. Hmm. About financial things, what you believe in, what you're willing to spend your money on, and how you're going to make your money. Gemini is, is other people's money. Tor, you know, or eighth house energy too. Getting loans and banking stuff, or inheritance. Um working collaborating because i do see the three oh this this is you doing your part and trusting the other people will do theirs as well hmm. all right virgos this has been crazy i'm excited though i really like these ones for this month uh and for your birthday okay so check my channel for if you haven't watched those other birthdays i mean do you know they're, they're exciting they're different they're it's something new and maybe it's not, you know, um, but I'm also going to be doing your, your, uh, I almost said pick a card. There might be some pick a cards coming up. I keep waiting to do those. Um, but I had so much else going on that I didn't get to them. So, oh, well, uh, next time. Cause I still have some fortune cookies that I want to do. Fortune cookie, pick a cookie. <laughs> There's so much to do. Like, I mean, the other song I had was like sticks and too much time on my hands. So having a lot of time, you gotta, you know, you do, you gotta do things you have to do. Like, you know, chores and shit like that. The basics that not, I was like, which is the yucky? Like folding the laundry, actually putting it away, or is it cleaning the toilets? I don't know. Which is the suckiest chore uh, that you have to do on your to-do list, right? And so the advice is to eat the frog and do that one first and get it done. Hmm. Whatever. Maybe you got to fill out some paperwork. You got to, you know, do the research. But I'm saying like, yeah, this is like a leap into the unknown all right. Beautiful message. Bye-bye.